And at 11 tonight, first up, a D.C. cop with a wife, two women on the side, and a threat police say that he made to kill them all. It's just the tip of the iceberg in a really alarming case against a longtime veteran of the NPD. The officer accused here, 52-year-old Calvin Willis. Police say the accuser is a longtime girlfriend with whom Willis has been in a romantic relationship since she was 15. And the couple has two children and another on the way. ABC 7 first broke this story tonight at 5. Roz Plater live outside NPD headquarters with some new disturbing revelations in this case. Roz? Allison, this woman told investigators she met this officer while he was on duty. He gave her, her his telephone number and asked if she could keep a secret. That was 10 years ago and two children ago. Three days ago, all the secrets began to unravel. 52-year-old D.C. police officer Calvin Willis is assigned to the 6th District. Court documents outline the disturbing accusations against him. First, attacking his 25-year-old pregnant girlfriend in her northeast home on Sunday afternoon, kicking her repeatedly. News most D.C. residents we talked to found very troubling. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty stunning. But I mean, I think, I think it's just crazy that it's a police officer. Police are people, too, and some of them make very poor decisions. Prosecutors say Willis then left to take his wife to a wedding and returned to the girlfriend's home early Monday morning. There was another argument and a second attack. The document says the defendant assaulted the victim by pulling her hair and grabbing her and slamming her against the wall so hard that he caused damage to the wall. It claims Officer Willis said, I'm going to kill you and throw you out of the window. Then the victim retreated to the kitchen and grabbed a knife to defend herself. The defendant placed his hand on his gun, saying something to the effect of, come on, bring it on. Obviously, it's clearly a dysfunctional situation. And it's unfortunate that he happens to be a civil servant. The victim told investigators Willis had warned her never to reveal their relationship or it would ruin his career. After the alleged assaults, the documents say the defendant told the victim that he was going to call the police and told her that the police would listen to him and would not believe her because he is a police officer. The document said that Willis put on his police uniform and dialed 911. When officers arrived, the victim told them she had been assaulted. One of those officers handed her a card with a number to the domestic violence unit she called, and that's how those charges came about. Now, Willis is being held without bond and has a preliminary hearing set for Friday morning. We're live at D.C. Police Headquarters. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.